Thank you so much for staying with today here on ENCA Channel 403. It's just gone 18 minutes after four. South Africa's political landscape is complex and layered with aspirations and fear. And with new political parties mushrooming and all hope lost in the ruling party, how are these or this year's elections likely to pan out? Well, according to some analysts, despite all of the recent developments, there seemed to be consensus that the African National Congress will still hold on to power. Ray Hartley, research director from the Brenters Foundation, joins us now and he's also the co-author of the book titled The Good, the Bad and the Ugly Scenarios for South Africa's Uncertain Future, which uh, I reviewed with Professor Mills Soko. Uh, good afternoon to you, Ray, and compliments of the season. Uh, we're going into uh, the election year, which many are saying it's going to be a deciding year as to where the country goes. Paint us a picture as it stands now, if we were to hold elections uh, what outcome are we likely to see? I think as things stand at the moment, the ANC will come in with something in the probably early 40s, uh, early to mid 40s, and the opposition grouping, the multi-party charter grouping, if you put their votes together, would come in at around 36%. So the ANC would remain the first uh, party to try and put together a coalition government. And only are you saying failed. this is a matter of fact, Ray, or is this a scenario that you are, you know, referring to through your crystal ball uh, glass? Yeah, I think that's according to research that we've done. We've done um, an election, election survey. We did it in October last year, and we did one a year before that. So it's based on that. Um, the ANC support is definitely falling at quite a fast rate. 